you know, I, everything is relative. For me, it was heaven. Um, I knew there were gangs. Yes, there was the you know uh, Maravilla gang. It was the MP boys. Um, there were other gangs around. Um, but and we lived right in the middle of the projects. We lived on Deritas Walk. So for anybody that lived in the old projects, don't know where that is. they should know where that is. Um, and um, but I, I never felt unsafe. You know, I never felt like well, you know, I'm gonna be jumped or anything like that. Uh, obviously, at night things were going on around just from my window. You know, I could hear guys shooting up. You know, arguments, this, this various things, drinking, all that stuff going on. But I never felt, you know, uh, uh, not safe. You know, I'd, I'd walk, I'd get up real early in the morning sometimes because I was an altar boy, so go go across all the projects to out to you know Brooklyn Avenue to go to church. You know, um, never felt a problem the whole time, you know, I lived there. Um, people were poor. Um, uh, there were large families. Um, um, I saw somebody die when I was about 12 years old. The neighbor across the street was stabbed uh, at the park, across the street of Valdez Park. Um, and he ran home and he sprawled in his kitchen floor. The police came, the mother didn't know how to speak English, the police didn't know how to speak Spanish. They had, we were all out there, you know, all the kids, neighborhood kids were out there. The police came out there and says, anybody speak Spanish? I said, I do. They took me inside and I saw the, the, the young man there, you know, I, I just, you know, the red turned to blue in his face, you know, and I, um, as I was interpreting for the mother. Uh, telling the police that he had gone to play soccer and he came home and he and he stabbed and there he was you know that's really all she knew um, so you know things happen like that you know um, uh, which which I guess uh, mold you affect you um, but again it, it wasn't like oh my god this is a horrible terrible place look at what happened to me I've never felt that way you know it, it was a horrible thing to see, and obviously a horrible thing that happened to that family, you know. Um, and things like that sometimes happened, you know. Uh, I remember in 65, there was a huge two or three night gun battle between one of the gangs and the police. Uh, you know, and we were on, kind of on the floor <laughs> part of the evening, you know, because there was actual shooting around us, you know. Um, um, I was seeing to know what exactly the root of it was or what, what was, you know, but I remember that, that happening. Uh, the police were often brutal with people, um, often, often unresponsive when something would actually happen, um, especially with the kids, you know, the, the young men. Um, but, um, but again, for me, it was a wonderful place, you know. Um, yeah, you knew everybody's business, you know. Um, uh, and everybody knew yours, I guess, you know, <laughs> uh, you know who was living where and, and so forth. But, um, you know, most people were clean. Most people had self-respect. A um, large part of the people were on welfare, but others worked. And mostly in menial jobs of various sorts. Um, but for me, it was a wonderful time. It was not a, you know, a, I didn't feel deprived, you know. Um, again, it's, everything's relative, you know. I moved to, from there to, to Duarte and see these big homes up on the hill. You go, wow, I didn't know people actually live this way. <laughs>